Hi guys, my name is Latif and in this video I'm going to show you the newest feature nested elements that was published a few minutes ago at the time that I'm recording this video. So uh, first we, we want to make sure that we have uh, Elementor and Elementor Pro to the latest version. And then uh, from there, uh, let's uh, see first the difference between the, the nested elements, how it was before and uh, how it is now. So I'm going to go at the pages, I'm going to add new page, and I'm going to call this home page. Publish, publish, edit with Elementor. Now, uh, let's make it a little bit clear. Let's uh, change the page layout to Elementor Canvas and let's hit update. Now, I'm going to look or I'm going to search for a tabs widget. Dragging the tabs widget, this is the way how it is now using sections. So, in order to display any kind, any other content besides the text over here, we have to create a template and then get the short code and then paste it here. So then uh, we will display the content of that template inside the tab. So now you will see the difference of the nested elements. So in order to, to get that feature, we will have to activate a couple experiments first. So we have to go to Elementor, Settings, Experiments, and then we have a Flexbox container. Without activating the Flexbox container, the nested element, it's not going to work. So first we active Flexbox container, then we uh, activate nested elements. And then we go in the bottom and we hit Save Changes. From here now, we go back to the pages and let's edit this page using Elementor. So it's still called tabs, but I'm pretty sure down the road they are going to change the name. But currently it is tabs. I'm gonna drag the widget and then here is the the tabs widget called nested elements. So it's nested because we can create uh, pages, let's say, or we can create anything we ha we want to inside the tab. Not anymore using the, the short code. Now we can create that directly from here. So uh, we'll, we'll get back to this. Let's start describing or explaining what is what are the features. So if we go to the tabs, and then we go to the tab number one, we can add an icon. First, we can change the name. I will name this as a home. And then uh, I can change the icon. So it can be home. I can add an icon called home. Here is the icon. Now I can make it where if it is active to show another icon. I want to show the bell. Now. When it is not active, it's going to show the home. Then uh, we can add icons and names on the second tabs as well. Another thing is, where do you want those uh, I, uh, buttons to, to show? Do we want them on top, in the bottom, on the right, or on the left? So let's say we want those in the bottom. We can put those on the left, and then we can put those on the right. Let's keep those on top for now and then we can justify them do we want them justify on start do we want them in the center and or justify it again okay now we can also change if it is the the justified we can change where do we want the content or the text to be at the bottom do we want them on the left center or on the right let's put those in the center and uh, let's bring it back to how it was. The next uh, tab under it, it's called responsive settings. Here it is. When do we want this uh, uh, design to change? Currently it is in a mobile. So as we have, as we are designing it, it's going to show the same on the uh, desktop and on the tablet. As soon as it's hit, 
hits the 767 pixel or less, it's going to change the design to the to mobile breakpoint. Break point. We can go to style and now we can modify the everything in here. So first we can change the gap between tabs. We can change the distance from the tabs to content. Now we can change the background of the tab here. It, it says if the back uh, if it is in the normal state then I want to show the color let's say blue. Okay, then when it is on the hover, I want it to show in blue, but lighter blue. Okay, and then when it is active, I want to show the green. That's perfect. Then we can add a border type. The border type, if we do solid, we can add a border in the, in the buttons. So let's say that we want to do this one, two pixels, and then we can add a color. Let's say that the border we want to be black. Okay, but that's in a hover. If I do on the normal, it will be the same. We go solid, we add, and then we can add, as I said, let's do the black, right? So, and in the active, it's not. We can add it if we want it or if we don't. It's, it's not a problem. Then we can add the border radius. We are still at the button. Add the border radius. Okay, so now they're going to look more like a buttons. And then we can also add some paddings, but that's good for now. We can go to a title. The title, we can change the typography to whatever we like. Let's say this one. Then uh, we can change the color. This is in the, in the normal state. I'm going to do white. And then on hover, we want it to make it dark. And then active white is fine. Now this is how it changes. It looks pretty good. There is a lot that you can do here. We can add some, some shadow or we can add the stroke. Then we can edit also the icon inside. So we can, we can uh, choose where we want the icon to be positioned then we can change the size we can add some spacing where we want it to be and then we can add colors uh, depends on the norm on the state normal hover or active and the content as well in the content we can we can do the border type that means that if I do solid it's going to add a border in the in the whole part the whole side so let's go back let's do this none and then what we can do inside inside here we can we can add uh, elements we can add widgets we can add whatever we want and this is going to be through let's say with with containers so now we can choose container how do we want it to be uh, direction to be column or row we can do two of them or however we however we want it. In my case, I just want to do a couple samples. Let's say I want to add a slider. That's how it looks the slider. And then from here, I want to add another container. And then in the container, we can add heading. And uh, I will make this or I will change the name to welcome to nested elements. Now we can continue working even, even more. We can add image and, uh, and a lot more. So you can see the freedom that we have here. While I'm working on this, I can think of, of multiple ideas, what I can do and uh, what I want to do and uh, where I can use those. So I can even create a full website with a nested element, only having one page and everything to be inside the tabs. Uh, I can also create a multiple posts and then put those in tabs or galleries.
put those also in tabs. Uh, there is a lots of freedom in here. So I hope you, you like the video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, I will do my best to help you. Thank you.